everybody. This is my name is Adel Black. And welcome back to Adel Black Experience right here in the PW Hustle. Now, excuse me for uh, me, me sounding a little bit uh, sound strange. I am doing a little bit of stuff nose. The allergies have been kicking my ass for the last couple of days. So, my apologies if I'm sniffing a lot or I end up unexpectedly sneeze on camera. My apologies. <laughs> but, one thing, a couple of things I want to talk about today on that even in my experience. Not gonna be like a, not gonna be a brief uh like a full on uh crowd overview. They gonna talk about the things that were that were important. We were basically like two or three matches. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know a lot of people will, will say that this was the best one of the best shows of the year, but I don't think it was. Like like Adrian Brown said on, on the Hustle page, which we we had now had changed the name of the Hustle page. We still still the people here, so but the Facebook group page is now called the Hustle Phantom. So just search the Hustle, Hustle Phantom on Facebook, and there you go. Still called the PV also, but change the name because reasons. I don't even know why we changed the name, but still PV also by heart. But anyway, just like the H.R. said, it was mediocre. So was mediocre. A couple of matches here and there were, were uh, okay. Uh, one of those matches ended up being Bob Lazar versus uh, Bob Lesnar. Um, <clears throat> It was a good, it was a pretty good uh, short matchup. You yeah, have Paul Lassie kicking the crap out of Bob Lesnar, the, the most most of the really good matchup. And even though he lost off, off some bullshit, because Bob, Bob Lesnar counted the, the hurt lock into a pin, Bob Lassie still was clearly up. And he was still had the hurt lock applied on Bob Lesnar, and yet he got screwed out of, out, of, out of the match. But Bob, Bob, Bob Lassie he still ended up kicking his ass after the match, and that's what we want to see from the Almighty. That's what we want to see. So, we might see another matchup between these two. I mean, we will see another matchup between, between, between these two. Um, the woman matchup was, of course, happened at day one is, but ended up being canceled. And we might see the matchup at Survivor Series, or like, we might wait all the way to WrestleMania. Either way, we will get another, another matchup between these two. And I honestly can't wait for that. Um, another matchup that, uh, that was basically one of the matches of the night were was Bianca Belair versus the Ding Dong of Daniel Control Bailey. Um for, and it was a lot of last one standing match for World War Championship. It was a, there was a what do you expect for a last one standing match? Just craziness and creativity. Like having Bianca Belair driving Bailey for the for the stage all the way to the ring on a go 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 kart while Bailey was on top of a go kart <laughs> and she and um, and, and then the match is just he's just barely just sits to bed like he's already been doing like, in these last couple of championship matches when the tie's out of line Bailey just she can't get the job done when the tie's not out of line she gets the job done easily especially with her friends Daniel Control Yosawai and Dakota Kai who was by the way lost the tie on, on Halloween with, with, them, with them back at, at, at the crowd joke what 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 was what was the point of having them uh, draw the house? Even even the Cole Kai called out dirty stupid booking during the press conference saying that hey uh those towels still say damn control on the side place. So we taking those towels back. And she was right. She t -t 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 they took the towel back. A little help from the Nikki Nikki Cross, but still they said they were locked out in the first place. And Bailey is saying even challenge for since I was saying challenge for a one one championship for a for zero future as he loses to Bianca Belair Bianca Belair as he is the one the last woman standing and still the world champion. I don't know who challenges Bianca Belair after this. Probably that dumb bitch Will Ripley who just can't keep seem to keep keep uh stay out of other people's business, especially the men's. So I don't know what's, what, what's gonna happen what happened with that. But I'm look um curious to see what happens next between, between these uh these two women women. And we most likely like gonna see these two women uh be the captains of their teams for Survivor Series. Because we, we all know it's going to be war games as well as series. And it's going to be more both a men and women's uh, war, war, war games match. So, most likely, we're going to see though, th these two with their teams, Daryl Control and whoever uh, Bianca Blair are going to have on her team in war games for a four time on, on, on the main roster. So, I'm looking for, look forward to that. But the match I would look forward to the most, because I was intrigued how they got handled this, was. The undisputed championship match between Wolf Reigns and Logan Freaky Paul. 
Yes. Dan Logan Paul, the YouTuber. The guy who bought some Floyd Mayweather. The guy who has one of the highest selling energy drinks out there in Prime. Yes, I drunk every freaking flavor, flavor in Prime except for grape. The other that don't have grape here, I don't know why. I gotta get grape. Anyway, enough about Prime. Let's talk about this match. <laughs> this match was a 25, 24 minute ball burner of a match. And I know a lot of people were spending a, a squash. I thought they were going to squash them. I know a lot of people were upset that it was a, was a squash match. Steve Lawson, <clears throat> those guys. Um, but at the end of the day, this match was, was, was definitely the match of the night, for me at, at least. Um, despite all that what happened the last, like the very last minutes of the matchup, Logan Paul did his thing. Logan Paul brought the fight to the Tribal Chief. Like, only a few had since when we became the Tribal Chief and the head of the table. Um, at one point in the match that you had Logan Paul doing a, a freaking Buckshot Lariat. Way better than Steve Punk's and maybe a little bit better than um, Heyman Pages. I don't know. I'm not going to uh, spark that de debate, but it was pretty, a pretty good looking uh, Buckshot Lariat, if you ask me. And also, uh, yeah, uh, Logan Paul hitting that one lucky shot to the face of uh, Woman Reigns. And hit him with, with a pretty damn good Superman punch at one point in the match up. At one point, at a, 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 another point in the match up, you have Logan Paul jumping from springboarding from one uh, side of the ring to almost to the other side of the ring. I just get, he gets slapped the taste out of by Woman Reigns. <laughs> and throughout the, this is the best part of the match. You have Logan Paul having Woman Reigns on top of the, on, on the announce table. You have one of his uh, cronies, um, his entourage, grab, uh, hand his phone, and this guy, legit, goes on top, tell a woman he's gonna go viral, and hit the frog splash while he's vlogging. <laughs> like, take notes on me saying, Gore, cause last time you try to do that, you got some kick in the face. But this guy, legit, hit a frog splash, do it on the ice table, while he was doing, on, on, on vlogging, taking a video. That was insane. And, of course, the bones of the matchup, you have Jake Paul coming out uh, to come to the aid of, of Logan Paul's Bitch Boys. He knocks out both Jake, Jimmy and Jay. Um, and then, got that, the, the closest moments of the matchup, you have Solo Sol Sakura facing off against Jake Paul. They stopped the fight before it even, even happened. But in the end, Roman Reigns hits the spear. One, two, three. Still, the unspeed un champion, Roman Reigns. And they got, I get, you gotta give uh, Logan Paul props. You gotta give a props to him. Um, he was, he bought the fight. He gave it all, and he did it off of. He did, uh, he did, he did most of the match up with um, a torn meniscus, torn MCL, and potentially torn ACL. I mean, you gotta give, you gotta give him props. This guy's not even, like, not even a wrestler. He hasn't been wrestling for a year. Or th three years, five years. He only been wrestling three matches. This was his third match in the in, uh, in WWE. And he took almost he took one way to the limit to the point he, uh, like the one way he started crying. <laughs> he, I mean, yeah, he, 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 he yeah, I, yeah. I would cry too. That I, that I would I would cry too if I almost lost my title to a YouTuber. I'm just saying. <laughs> but in the end, one is still the head of the table. He's still one of one of the greatest of all time. Well, great, like, hands down the greatest Euro champion of all time. Like he said, he's had held that title over over two years now, and great for you to see see who takes the title off of one means. But hopefully, we hear the people also wishes Logan Paul speed recovery, and hopefully we see him back in the ring soon and rather than later. But before we before I go, there's something I want to uh, mention about um um. A good, old, a good old friend, Braun Strowman. Yeah, um, this dumbass decided, decided to go on social media and just brag about how good his match was as he got all my blood money, even though his match was the Twist of the Sits. And everybody called him out on it, and for good reason. Cause it, and, because this is the same guy who was trashed on the Indies while he was on his little rant, because he said that. He said all that about his match against Omos, and when once he got, started getting hate on social media, he was like, Oh, it's just a prank, bro. I was just joking. Yeah, bullshit. 
because you get all the hate in the world on social media for being stay some saying some, some dumb shit. You was doing that. You was saying, saying some dumb shit when you got when you got uh on the verge getting fired. Talk about business about how indie wrestlers so C B C B stop begging for money and all that or like, like they were not begging for money. They were just trying to get by because they, they couldn't work because they were in a global pandemic pandemic. While you on the other hand was on was still on T V challenging for W championships while they try to get get by, try to make a living while, while the world shut down and they couldn't they can't wrestle. Or like you, you could you could wrestle. You could you still was still still wrestling. But uh, up, up, up until you got fired at that point you had no choice but it was in the in the promotions. And the indie promotion that you wrestled for is now dead. RIP two months two years ago. Like I mean the the promotion was dead on a from the start before you came came about because control totally narrative. Ever since uh the EC three made his promotion control totally narrative, everybody thought that this was a joke. Everybody was laughing about it. They were laughing at this at this uh, concept of Kanoi Toy narrative. And honestly, I don't. I want to. I didn't. I didn't blame him. I didn't blame everybody for laughing at us because it was the Kanoi narrative as a as a whole was a complete joke. Because this might be one of the biggest disappointments and one of the, one of the biggest disappointments in 2022 or 2021, whatever the hell it, that it started. But either way, Barnstorm went. Was quick enough to go back to WWE when he got the call to go back back over there when True Bay was in charge. He didn't even bother to try to save controlling narrative alongside EC3, especially right after Killer Cross came back to WWE. So, Bone Storman, I don't give a fuck what he had to say. I was never a big, I was never a big fan of yours anyway. In the first place, you suck. Your match against all that blood money suck. Your title reign is at tag team champion, IC champion, your world champion, sucked. It wasn't for Bray, for Bray Wyatt, you wouldn't be in the main roster right now. You still would be an NFT and like a freaking buffoon. So please, don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a, a bitch boy, because you were talking shit about indie wrestling, and you end up done, having your dumbass wrestling for, for a couple of indie shows. So cut the bullshit, alright? Anyway. That's all I'm gonna say about that. That's all I just wanna put my two cents in about Crown Jewel and then Bart Drummond dumbass. The dumbass I'm on I'm on dumbass dumbass are all dumbasses in wrestling. <laughs> so please. I know I've been on, on for about for a while but I'm back now. I'm gonna be doing some I know gonna be doing a, a, a ton uh uh another, 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 a couple more videos this month. Um I'm gonna be doing Probably, most likely be doing a uh, review of uh, Full Gear, maybe a, a business business review, depends on how I feel, depends on how good this card is, because it looks like, look, the card look pretty decent, except for that dumbass Fairy 4 and match for Rainbow World Championship, but I'll talk about that another time. Um, of course, I'm going to be going to West Cade this year again, with Salem, North Carolina, this year weekend, I'll be doing uh, vlogs over there, I'll be doing a, uh, a business video for the Super Show, they announced the masses for that show. I know uh, Rusk has been kind of hectic and chaotic because all the cancellations and the uh, and uh, then uh, injuries taking place that the people can't be there, and WWE pulling uh, Johnny Gargano from uh, being there. You know, I part I bought a freaking ticket to be, meet that guy, and he's not gonna be there because WWE pulled him. If we gonna be doing something big at the Wild Series, there's no point. In him, there was no point in him being pulled from Rusk. That's, 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 that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But we'll be doing. Live covers, if we, if we will, if we will, at Westcade this year, once again, and yeah, we guys had had a great weekend, and if you enjoy if you enjoy my video, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and tap the bell on the YouTube, YouTube about don't any of my videos in the, in the future. And until next time, my name is Black. I'm out, and fuck Bonsoir.